So Jason, uh, new to endurance racing, uh, what, what were your first thoughts when you got the call up to come and uh, stand in for the TT Legends? Uh, first of all, I thought uh, you know, it was a great opportunity to, to stand in for the regular TT Legends riders. Um, yeah, um, I was pleased that Honda thought of me to, to be one of the, the fill-in guys and uh, you know, I look forward to the challenges as soon as, I got, as soon as I got asked about it. And is there anything you've been doing especially in your preparation, bearing in mind the conditions? Uh, to be honest, I haven't, I haven't changed any of, any of my normal training regime. I just, just continued with what I've been preparing for for BSB. Um, done most of my training over the, the Christmas New Year's period back in Australia. Uh, so I suppose that's probably, that's probably helped me now because it, it was quite hot then. Um, but you know, just cycling and gym work, a uh, bit of surfing, a bit of recreational fun. Uh, and that's about it really. Um, you know, I've had a lot of I've had a lot of races in a short period of time, um, so you know I'm, I'm bike fit and I feel feel strong on the bike at the minute. So you know the conditions out here for sure they're hot and it's, it's difficult and something that I haven't experienced before. But uh, you know I'm coping with it okay and, and it's all going good. So Kia, you're not uh, not not new to endurance racing. You've uh, you've competed in these kind of um, races before. I mean. What kind of physical preparation do you need to do to, to get ready for this uh, these kind of events? I never do everyday training. Maybe one week, three times or two times running. And uh, I never do hard training. Uh, is it particularly hard doing hour-long stints in, in these kind of conditions? Uh, is there anything you really need to keep on top of? Water intake? the food you eat, this kind of thing? Yeah, uh, this endurance base is um, difficult to keep condition. Yeah. So Michael, again, uh, endurance racing is, is something pretty new to you. What, what were your immediate thoughts when you got the call up to come in for the TT Legends? Yeah, I was, I was quite keen to do it um, straight away when I got the call. Um, I, I've always wanted to to have a go at endurance racing, and uh, yeah, I was I was quite uh, honoured to be to be asked by Honda to get the call up to, to be part of the Legends squad. So yeah, I was looking looking forward to it and enjoying it so far. And what are your main um, things you know to think of when competing in races such as this? You know, doing longer stints than you're used to, different conditions, different bike. It's been a big learning process. Um, you know, the the track's new. Riding in this kind of heat is new for me. I've rode in probably mid 30s before, but we were on track the first day at 45, 48 degrees ambient. So, yeah, taking care of hydration has been a big issue, but as the days have gone on, we've got more um, acclimatised to it and we're not we're not losing as much water. And um, it's lucky we've had, had a, a guy uh, taking care of that for us this weekend. So, it's, it's we've learned a lot from it and, and just getting on top of that, you know, for. At the moment we haven't done the long 50 minute stints to one hour that we're going to need to do tomorrow night in the race but um, yeah on, on the bike side of it you know it's it's more about learning the, the tires it's a different bike the endurance bike and, and learning the circuit so it's been a lot of familiarization over the last couple of days but getting there and getting comfortable now um, we've got qualifying this evening and hopefully we can get a little bit closer to the front guys but all in all, it's been a, a big learning process for our first weekend, but we're we're coming on every every time. It's every time we get to the track, it's getting better. You know, even last night was the first time under the under the lights. Although there's not much light, it's pretty pretty dark out there. So that was a new experience, uh, learning how to how to ride with, with very little vision. But um, yeah, session one was tough, and then session two it started to feel a lot more natural. So it's all coming quite good. Uh, yes. Hi, my name is John Davis. I'm a chartered physiotherapist. I've been uh, privileged enough to work with the Honda TT Legends team uh, for the last two races, and uh, we're going to be working with them for the rest of the season. So, John, what are the main uh, things to look out for? Um, you know, for keeping riders healthy and fit throughout the racing weekend. Okay. Well, this particular track and the conditions here are particularly um, trying 
fantastic for the riders because they haven't been used to these temperatures. Um, and they don't ride in this sort of environment very often, so we're looking at uh, most of dehydration and also uh, reorganisation for the riders because they have to uh, work with each other to get on and off the bikes and have to be in the, in the garage at the right time. Obviously, it's quite uh, uh, difficult for them to keep an eye on everything that they're doing, so I look after all the organisation, uh, the drinking, the nutrition, and the monitor the weight. Prioritising them and getting them used to going on to the uh, used to the conditions um, during the different sessions that we've been having. Uh, we've had day sessions which have been really hot, and then we moved to night sessions and uh, it's been a bit cooler and then fluid loss is coming down. So we're monitoring all that, just keeping them safe and keeping them uh, uh, fit and healthy and obviously optimising their performance. And what kind of things will you do in between um, stints with each rider just to uh, get them get them sharp again and, and feeling good to get back on the bike? Okay, once they get off the bike, uh, we immediately start cooling them using uh, ice towels and ice. Uh, we have a pool set up. Uh, uh, it's an inflatable jacuzzi type pool, which is just outside the garage, so they can get into to cool themselves down, monitor their body temperature. Um, once they're cooled down and they're rehydrated, measure their weight loss, um, therefore measure their fluid loss. Make sure that they're uh, getting rehydrated and any problems are developing.